Hi, I'm Lakshan, a student of Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology. This tutorial is about Enterprise Java Paint. Okay, what are the Enterprise Java Paint? It's a server-side component model of the Java platform for deploying distributed enterprise applications. It's also a component-based framework for building and deploying distributed applications. We want to use EGB when to encapsulate the business logic and the remote access and to be scalable and to be portable because a JWA application can deploy it on different JWA application servers. Okay, then we look at what are the disadvantages of EJBs. Complexity, request Java EE servers, needs Java clients because EJBs are built on top of RMI. Types of enterprise Java beans. There are two types mainly session beans, message driven beans. Before EJB 3.0, there are three types of uh, enterprise Java beans. Those are session beans, message driven beans, and entity bean. Now, entity beans are replaced by JPA, Java Persistence API. First, look at what are the session beans. It contains the logic such as creating users, add items for an auctions, building for an item, etc. And there are three types of session beans stateless, stateful, singleton. Stateless means do not maintain a conventional state for a particular client. And stateful, the instance variables represent the state of a unique client session. And the singleton is initiated once per application and exists for the life cycle of the applications. And the second type, message driven beans, act as a listener for a particular messaging type, such as the Java messaging service. Okay. To inject beans, uh, in EJB 3.0, we use annotations instead of deployment descriptor. Um, before EJB 3.0, we have to use deployment descriptor or the web XML to inject the EJBs. Now we can use annotations. Uh, the word the EJB container. Okay. First, uh, we try to understand what is a container. Container is a Java application. Um, here, uh, this container is about the control to EJBs, and uh, there are two types of containers in JWA application server. Uh, one is web container, and the other one is the EJB container. Web container is to control servlets. Uh, for example, Apache Tomcat. Uh, Tomcat is example of a container and for JWA servers uh, JBoss and Classbase they have both web, server, web container and the EJB container ok let's look at what are the EJB container provides transaction security and persistent timer or scheduling and messaging state management interceptors and the other one the web container it also provide communication support and lifecycle management multi-threading support declarative support jsp support first one communication supports me provide a way to communicate between the servlets and the web server and the second one lifecycle management the container controls the life and the death of uh, the servlets and the multi-threading support the container automatically creates a new java thread for every servlet request it receives okay from next tutorial i hope to do an a tutorial using enterprise java beans